Hello guys, what is up? This is Chris or Halo 4 followers. Today, Microsoft decided to reveal three map packs and some details on them as well. A three minute long red versus blue of Halo 4 NIST next to a Halo 4 theme at Spots Dashboard available today. So sources are posted below. Well, let us share with you our knowledge about the electoral college. So first off with the DLC and their names. The first map pack is called the Crimson Map Pack, releasing around December. And this map pack basically includes the maps of Wreckage, Harvest, and shatter. The description reads, Witnesses of a chaos of a clash of civilizations and wreckage with its blend of catastrophic spaces and dangerous exposures and venture into the human colony of inference of harvest and explore a human foray on a alien moon in shatter. Our next map pack is called the Majestic Map Pack, releasing around February's time frame. We have Landfall, Monolith, and Skyline. Now it says, Landfall's emphasis is on infantry battles against a glittering ocean on a distant world. While Monolith exposes you a naked vacuum of space in the firepower of opposing teams, and Skyline's distinctly industrial feel provides new challenges in somewhat familiar but occasionally confined spaces. Then lastly we have the Castle Map Pack. It will be released in around April, including the maps of Daybreak, Outcast, and Perdition. Daybreak is set in a military facility against the backdrop of an idyllic mountain range while Outcast plunges you into the warrens, canyons, and arches of an alien in Dyphus, I think I said that right, and Perdition takes players into the heart of a urban sprawl with tactical speed and situational awareness is its key features. Keep in mind that the Halo 4 War Games map pass costs $24.99 American dollars or 2,000 Microsoft points which will give you access to the map packs when they're officially released. This basically saves you 15% if you were to, you know, basically buy it on day one, however the limited edition includes a map pass as well. Now the map pass also includes the scanner and strider in-game helmets, also including the falcon emblem. Though keep in mind that some of these images are very high resolution, so consider visiting my website or the source below to download them and, you know, get them for yourself. So, moving on, a theme has been released called the Halo 4 Infinity Campaign Premium Theme. This brilliant little artwork here is worth 240 Microsoft points. Now, I've bought the Halo 4 concept art theme for my spots a while back, and truth to me, it makes my dashboard feel a lot more Halo 4 ish. And, you know, if you do have some Microsoft points laying around or you just want to get some more a little bit to buy this, uh, you know, to me, I think it's definitely a worthy buy. The Halo 4 soundtrack has also released on iTunes the Deluxe Edition which includes remixes and the main soundtrack is $11.99 American dollars and the Standard Edition is $8.99 and oh my gosh I bought it myself and it just sounds so great. Anyways, the video is over, but we still have our epic community question, which is, which map looks like your favorite? Outcast, Wreckage, or Shatter? Any of them. I'm actually a little bit curious on to see what everyone likes the most, uh, you know, the top three or something. So anyways, leave your response down in the comment section below. Be sure to subscribe for plenty more of Halo 4 news and lols, of course, from this channel. Like this video too if you found it helpful, and only if you did. This has been Chris, signing out.